I talk a lot about living a slow life, a soft life, if you will, here in my videos. But I think there is a misconception about what a soft life actually is. To some, a slow and soft life may be synonymous with an easy life, and that's exactly what I want to talk about today. I've come from a mindset of hustle culture, toxic positivity, suppressed emotions, to living a slow, calm, beautiful life in the countryside. But it's not all what it looks like. Do I think one is better than the other? Is one possible without the other? It's not. I don't think it's as simple as black and white. Here is the difficult truth. To live a soft, slow life, you need to work very hard, both inside and out, but perhaps inside is even more important. Work with what you have in a place where you are currently at. That's one thing no one would tell you, but that's the truth there is to any life, really. On the surface, what I show you beautiful landscapes, cozy home, peaceful baking, is all you see. Of course, I don't show you my 10 hours per day in front of a computer, achy shoulders which hurt non-stop for months, therapy, bills, commute, piles of laundry, tons of dirty dishes every day in the sink, struggles saving up for my own living space, monthly rent, etc. I'm sure you know it all too well. We all do. If I don't explicitly share it, it doesn't mean that there are no hardships. I don't hide it. I don't imply that this part of life doesn't exist. It does, and it's also a part of me. Soft, beautiful life comes hand in hand with hard work and lots of effort. Working all day and all night is unhealthy, but so is dwelling in unrealistic ideals. The immediate discomfort brings future rewards, but the rewards won't be a constant. The constant is the effort, the constant is the basic need of survival, the constant is the bills which come monthly and food which needs to be put on the table every single day. So why is it that I even talk about living a lovely, slow and soft life? Well. Because if I only focused on the darkness of my mind that persists every second of my existence, or in hours spent trying, working hard, but failing perpetually at everything I do, I would put myself deeper into despair. One thing I chose to believe in is that amongst the hardships, lightness exists. In between the effort that is so detrimental to soft existence, Taking time to rest is equally important. I never ever talk in absolutes because I don't believe in them. I exist in between. That's where I choose to stay mentally. I naturally have a melancholic, overthinking, brooding mind ever since childhood. I was always that way. It's amazing for creativity and poetry and writing, I must say, but it's difficult to exist with that. Softness, just the same as kindness and happiness, requires discipline, strength and healthy dose of realism to go alongside it. Choosing to see the beauty and softness all around isn't the same as ignoring those hardships I talked about earlier. It's recognizing those hardships, recognizing where you are, having an awareness of those feelings or very much material problems that come up daily and working on them inside and outside, working to build a life that is beautiful, not without hardships, but despite them, together with them, hand in hand. When it's so natural for me to dwell in the darkness, I taught myself deliberately to live in softness. I raise my eyes from the screen as I jot down these thoughts and stare at the walls that surround me. 
Bright light seeps in through the curtains. The wind rustles wilting leaves on the cherry tree outside, making light and shadows dance wonderfully on the wall. That's beauty right there in the mundane. That's softness, these moments in between. And it makes me feel better, those few seconds of observing dancing light. I look back at the screen, stretch my aching shoulder and continue my boring walk. At the end, when rewards do come, if they come, it all seems easy. To those who observe us from the outside, our lives might seem like a piece of cake. The simple truth is that every single one of us fights our own battles, no matter how we present our lives on the outside. It's strange and somewhat funny how often people take one word, one look, one video for an answer. They see it as a whole picture when it's merely a tiny snippet into someone's soul, barely even scratching the surface. But I will continue sharing softness. Working hard for a lovely, slow and beautiful life I want to live. As Mary Oliver's poem goes, you must not ever stop being whimsical and you must not ever give anyone else the responsibility for your life. I will run silly if that's what's gonna make me happy in those moments in between. Romanticize existence despite the very real and difficult mundane. Open my eyes to tiny, unnoticeable details. The beauty of a grey and dull autumn day. Marvel at the world around me, then go back to work in a perpetual cycle. The balance between light and darkness, the dance of light and shadows on the kitchen wall. Isn't that what life always is? <laughs>